All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to Cutabo Space Program, where today we are having a look at the Drez Moons mod, which is being made by forum user Jacob JHC. And what this glorious little piece of fork looks to add into the game is two lovely new moons in orbit around Drez, adding a bit more interest to that lonely little world. So let's uh, jump right on into the tracking station and have a look at what we do get. Now, I, of course, should mention right off the bat here that this being a planet pack, it does require Copernicus to properly function. And I have a feeling we're probably going to be seeing a few planet packs over the next couple of weeks now that Copernicus has updated to 1.8. But once you do have it all installed and head on over to Drez, you'll notice we have two beautiful little moons and some pretty interesting orbits. I mean, that one's pretty uh, nicely regular and circular there. This one going a bit further out and both of them being quite inclined. So besides having the fun and difficulty of getting to Drez, you're then going to have a bit of a challenge to get to these two separate little moons with that inclined orbit, which always makes for a bit more interesting of a mission. Now, Drez itself is, of course, unchanged by this, besides the fact that it does have two lovely moons. So let's uh, tab on over to the first of them, which is... Pasito, which is very small with a radius of 42 kilometers, a gravity of 0.05 Gs, and no atmosphere to speak of being such a tiny little rock. And as you can see here, it's a pretty cool little moon. Quite a lot of topography for you to contend with on this thing, and the texturing is wonderful, and such a contrast between, you know, the bleak grays of Drez over there, we have just all this vibrant red all over the place, which is pretty awesome. Though that being said, if you want vibrant colors, oh my, the next moon's a fun one, and that moon is, of course, Sarek, which is even smaller at 16 kilometers in radius with a gravity of 0.023 Gs, and once more with no atmosphere to speak of, but as you can see there, it does have a very thin, faint ring. And despite it being quite faint, you guys know me, I love a good planetary slash moonar ring, and it's wonderful. And as you can see here, overall, it's just a really cool looking little moon. I almost said planet there, but no, it's a moon. Not only do you have just all these cool blues everywhere, but then you have this just tremendously vibrant red and orange crater right there. Again, just having such a contrast between little old Drez over there. Granted, I say little, this is far more tiny. But yeah, it's just such a cool little sight, which is just wonderful to visit. And with that ring, well, you guys know me, I'm a sucker for a ring, so it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. Now, I mean, this mod is just entirely two moons added around to this planet, so not much more to talk about there. So let's uh, jump over to my Viewmatic satellite, which... Oh boy, do I not have... Uh, no, it's not letting me... There we go. Click it there. Couldn't click it from that for some reason. So let's go to fly to get a bit better of a close-up view here. And as you can see, it's just, like I said, a very, well, quite literally cool little moon with that color palette. And that just crater down there is so cool looking. And a fun one to explore. As you can see, it's a pretty uh, flat area ar around it. But in the middle, it does get a bit more topography. And of course, the edges of the whole thing are pretty fun and steep for you to go and explore. And the planet itself, or rather moon, does also have a lot of fun topography there. And of course, the thin beautiful little ring just makes me happy. <laughs> it's kind of hard to see. I mean, probably even harder for you guys to see on the video, but yeah, even in-game, it is a very faint ring, but still, I love it. So yes, that's really all there is to talk about uh, with this lovely little planet pack. It's a pretty cool one. I really do like it. I always do enjoy seeing more things added to Drez as it just... 
I don't know, Dress always seemed a little bit boring for me personally to go and visit, so adding a couple of interesting moons just makes it that much better, and gives you more of a reason to head out this way. So if you'd like to have a look at this mod for yourself, which I'd certainly recommend you go and do, you can have a look at the link in the description, as per usual. But uh, that, my friends, is going to be it for this episode. I hope you all have enjoyed, and that you do come back for the next, when hopefully we'll be looking at yet another wonderful mod. But until that time, thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.